My name is Kate Vakel and welcome to Craft Beer Fridays. Today I will be reviewing 35K from Against the Grain Brewery and Restaurant. They are located in Louisville, Kentucky and this runs at 7% alcohol by volume. Here is the bottle up close. I thought the artwork was pretty cool. Regretful tattoo with some guns and lollipops and skulls and money and you know everything that you want in a beer. I always get upset when I can't use my bottle opener. <laughs> right to the rim. Now it does say drink from the can, but for the review purpose, I'm gonna put it in a glass, that way you can see the color of it and blah, 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 but originally I would just drink this from a can. Wiggity woo, that's what it says on the can. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna taste exactly like it smells, so let's see, cheers. Ooh. Very malty, actually. You can really taste those grains along with that bitter sweetness. Overall pretty smooth though, even though you do get kind of a bite from it, it goes down well. Chocolatey, you get a little bit of coffee. It really has that dark roasted malt and bittersweet cocoa and coffee flavor as well. The coffee isn't too strong, but you can get a little bit of it on that aftertaste. Obviously this is a pitch black milk stout and they did put lactose in it, you know, milk sugar, with an addition of nugget and crystal hops. Overall, you really do get those malts and that bittersweet kind of chocolate taste, sugar. It is a very good beer. The first time I tried this, actually, I didn't like it, but now that I'm giving it a second chance, I can really taste those flavors. <coughs> I think this is a very good dessert beer, so I'm enjoying this dark beer on this cold, brisk Friday morning. It's time for the topics of the day. First of all, I didn't realize how many Fridays were in December. I'm kind of upset with myself because I kind of wanted to do the same thing that I did with October, just review a bunch of uh, Christmas ales and stuff. But unfortunately, the end of the semester kind of took away all my time and I was not able to do that, so maybe next year. <laughs> It's actually really hard to find beer places. I live in the country of Alabama, so I just can't find uh, any craft beer nearby. Stop! And just a side note, I got this 35K at the Beer Hog in Pelham, Alabama. Since I've been slacking, I actually posted three things today. There's this beer review, I also posted a blooper video, and I wrote an article on a local brewery in Athens, Ohio, so that link will be in the description below if you wanna go check all those three things out. The exciting topic and news of today is that Rogue One came out. Holy crap. When they first announced that they were going to do a Star Wars story, I didn't really know how to feel about it. I was kind of nervous, kind of whatever, but now that I've been reading books and it's the day is actually here, R2-D2! And lastly, Mario Run came out yesterday for the iPhone, I think. I don't think Droid users can get it yet. So I've been playing that and I still am addicted to Pokemon Go. They had a lot of new updates, so I'm just going to continue with the game. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, life is too short to drink bad beer.